Hey guys, we are at Glitter Planet HQ and I'm doing this set in today's video. If you want to see how it turned out, then keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you didn't already because I know some of you aren't getting the notifications and I don't want you to miss out on another upload. Get into it. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to do this molten metal dripping chrome nail design and honestly I am so freaking excited we are using a brand new gel color which I'm so excited for it is the hollow cat eye glaze gel I'm gonna have it available very soon I wanted to get this video out ASAP because y'all I know you're waiting on new content from me and yeah let's just jump right into the video I'm honestly so excited for this set Initially, I wasn't really sure on where it was going, but the outcome, I was so pleased with how amazing this has just looked. It looked so cool, like so freaking cool. So yeah, I've started off, I've already done my clear base, I've got my tips applied and all of that great stuff. I'm just going to trim them down because I didn't want a stiletto this time. For whatever reason, I was feeling more coughing. So we're just taking off the end of the tips and then oh, we can move on to the next step. I wanted to let you guys know as well, some of you are interested in taking a training class with me or an online workshop. I am going to list my online training academy in the description box so you guys can sign up it doesn't matter whether you are qualified whether you're just teaching yourself whether you're just doing your own nails and you want to learn some new designs or wherever you are in the world you can literally sign up and learn in the comfort of your own home pop to the coffee shop learn there you know what i'm saying and you will get a course dashboard you will be able to access your um dashboard from literally anywhere in the world from phone laptop tablet and yeah it's just amazing i'm so excited to have launched them or relaunched them again and i will have a brand new gel nail art workshop coming up by the end of the week it will be available on friday so look out for that because honestly you're gonna love it it is so fun but yeah my training academy is called nyant academy and nyant stands for not your average nail tech because honestly i feel like nowadays nail techs aren't just average you know what i'm saying it's not just like a pink and a white it's not just a plain color don't get me wrong if it is I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Everybody has their own style. But yeah, there's so much more that goes into it. So yeah, I wanted to call us that because I thought it fits everybody. Don't forget to check out the link anyway. Everything will be down below if you do want to check it out. But yeah, let's get back into the video. I think I've rambled on way too much. I'm so excited about it that I'm actually out of breath chatting about it. <laughs> like, can you hear the urgency of all this information getting out to you guys in my voice? I'm so sorry, but sometimes it's just like that. Anyway, let's move on. As you can see, I'm having a nice little play around with the Hollow Glaze Cat Eye Gel. I find these gels so magical, like honestly, so amazing. And I just love having to play around with them, seeing where I want to, you know, move that product around to, how I want it to sit. I'll do it a couple of times. I'm like, hmm, am I happy? Am I happy? Am I happy? Once I'm happy, I can go ahead and do the next ones and I'll know how to do it. But yeah, I am obsessed. I think it looks amazing. And I'm also launching my new glass gels very, very soon. I cannot wait. Let me put a poster up. We've just recently, well, we'll be featured in a magazine in July. Let me show the artwork that I did. Honestly, it's actually stunning. So yeah, how cute is that? I'm obsessed with it. And we have the new logo for the front of the bottles, which I just love. That's something to look forward to for summer. So hopefully you guys are going to pick that collection up as well. Look at this. Honestly, I'm just obsessed with it. It really wasn't picking up as much as you could see it in person as well on camera because of all the different angles. Like, honestly, it's just the most gorgeous hollow 
it's unbelievable i literally live for it another thing that i'm getting on the website it's going to be on today so it's 17th of june today i'm going to get on the website we have a brand new chrome gel the holographic version silver hollow i'm going to get that on the website tonight so you guys can get your hands on that that is amazing as well i can't wait to use it i'm going to do it in a next set and demonstrate it and all of that good stuff i'll also have a gold version because we currently have a champagne gold which is just like a really silver muted like champagne gold quite literally but we wanted to have a more gold color so that's what we've brought as well for you guys so that's really exciting and along with that there's going to be so many other different products that i'm bringing little nail art bits some disposable palettes which i think is just like next level okay guys so back to the set and now i've absolutely chewed your ear off about some of the new goodies that i've got coming to the website i'm sorry about that hopefully you don't mind um let's get back to the design so i was going to use amethyst i wanted to tint the hollow glaze but then i changed my mind and decided to actually just keep it as it is and just do an ombre over the top and then add the dripping chrome i just felt at the time that was the correct thing to do <laughs> um i think i'll use the amethyst next time on another set because i just i don't know the beauty of this chrome was just chroming I mean the glaze it was just glazing do you know what i'm saying like i didn't really need to add anything else to it but i tell you what would look good a ombre gradient over the top with the new glass gels oh i think that's got to be done definitely got to be done but anyway back to it we're using toasted rose and we are going to go ahead and do a gradient ombre acrylic over the top and we're basically just blending in the hollow glaze gel that we've already applied to the tip so we've applied it and we've cured it as well so i'm going to go ahead and do that on all of the nails we're going to do that gradient ombre super simple but super cute and i'll tell you what would look good on this set like some 3d elements not just the drips like you know with the 3d elastic gel some swirls some of those flowers oh my god that would look amazing i've got so much creativity in my brain and so many ideas right now that it's just exploding but yeah we'll get into it i cannot wait to create more and share with you guys i'm sorry that i slacked and didn't upload anything for a little minute when i say a little minute it's been about 10 days it's not that long is it <laughs> um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this molten chrome set anyway because even though it's quite simple i feel like a lot of people can wear it no matter what length of nails you have because if you just had short nails i would literally skip the ombre do the hollow glaze over the entire nail and then do the dripping chrome like oh that would look so freaking bomb you know it like seriously you literally oh i might have to do that anyway just to show you guys <laughs> next i'm coming in and we are going to go ahead and i was going to say cure but we've already done that i'm going to cap this design in nail make crystal clear acrylic so i don't need to go all the way up the cuticle because we've got our core powder there so i'm just going to start from where it ends and then blend this product down over the top of our gel and that's just going to cap everything and it's basically an acrylic set i think people class it as like a hybrid set because you're using two systems gel and acrylic which i think is just a genius like you know make the best of everything you've got and use it all baby you know what i'm saying um you want to paint a little design and cap it in clear acrylic go ahead and do that like i prefer acrylic so much more than i do gel but if you wanted an acrylic set but still wanted to use your gel colors that's a way you can do it just add that um gel underneath and then cap it it'd look bomb okay so i've capped everything filed and buffed everything and yes it's looking a little crusty around the cuticle area please don't mind that also the peely peely set started peeling off a little early so it looks even extra crustier but again like i said just let's ignore that and crack on with the design so we're going to use the fluid gel this is the easiest way ever of applying chrome that i have found especially when you're doing like a 3d or raised up design like look at me oh so freaking easy and even these clear drips look amazing i would literally wear it like that if i had to put a matte top coat under there and just done the clear it is giving like i'm obsessed 
So anyway, I went ahead and cured that for the full 60 seconds in the light. You can cure it for 30 seconds and you will still get a good chrome payoff, but I've always done 60 seconds. So that's kind of just what I stick to. And the chromes go on absolutely beautifully. So I'm using the Glitter Planet Mirror Mirror Chrome Powder, which is a silver chrome. And I'm applying that with the silicone tools making sure to get all of the areas rubbing it in and then I'll dust off the excess and basically I'm going to do the same process on all of the nails and then top coat over them to reveal the whole design and oh it's amazing okay guys if you have watched this far and you are a true ninja nail squad member what i'm gonna ask you to do is get the little chain emoji when you leave a comment in the description in the comment section below just add that little chain emoji you know just to give a little nod to that chrome but just so i know who's kind of watching through the videos i want to just get a good idea of who is actually you know staying consistent watching through are we getting a lot of skipping do i need to shorten these videos down like i need to figure out what's going on with my content and because a lot of people are literally watching like the first few minutes and then just boom gone and i look at the analytics some of you are just not staying around and i don't know what to do about it so i need to i need to see who's staying and who's not so yeah leave me a link down below with the uh, a link a little chain emoji down below so i can see i got an idea i'll leave it in the description box if you wanted to copy it from there and paste it in you can do that but yes it's easy enough anyway just to pop one in there so i finished applying my chrome i dusted off everything i came in top coated and did a full cure for 60 seconds added my cuticle oil and this is the final look you guys i'm obsessed with it that hollow glaze is absolutely the juiciest hollow gel i've ever seen in my life like oh and the cat eye effect on it just really gives it that extra dimension and pops the design so i showed you it there with my flash this is without flash under a regular light um it is still absolutely stunning this mirror mirror silver chrome pops so much like i'm absolutely obsessed with this set like how simple it is yet how like edgy and out there obsessed anyway guys that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Hopefully you will join me again in my next nail video. And thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, please remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye.